have been waiting in lines and lots. Oh, ho, happy Thanksgiving! Plenty of passengers looked happy about the holidays. It's uh, going to be fun being at the, with family. But it's best to plan ahead. Always. To keep that cheer. I always I believe in Santa and always believe in getting here early. Alive. <laughs> SeaTac says garage parking is limited, with pre book spots already taken. We're one of the smallest footprints of airports around the country for the amount of people that we, that we serve, and it's only large enough for the amount of people that it can fill up there. Your cheapest alternative is to take the Link Light Rail. Pro tips, you're asked to keep luggage under your seat, so if you have big bags, it could be tricky. There is a short walk to the airport once you get there, so budget time. A free shuttle is available for people who need it. Option two, ride share. Along with Uber and Lyft, there's an airport shuttle service you can book, but keep in mind it makes multiple stops. If taking a taxi, know whether you want a flat rate or metered route. Option three, use an off-site lot. Some allow you to reserve a space ahead of time, but keep in mind the airport doesn't oversee those lots. While the early birds may have gotten the best spots. Well, we made reservations ahead of time and parked in a parking lot and no problems whatsoever. It's not too late to keep your travel day on track. SeaTac is on my nice list. Picking up someone coming home for the holidays, SeaTac says it's added some space to the cell phone lot. Another option, short-term parking. Or even entering into the parking garage from the south end instead of the north expressway. That's another great option that people don't think about. That's coming off of International uh, Boulevard. If arrivals is jammed, have them meet you at departures. In all, SeaTac projects about 1.6 million passengers will head through the airport over the course of this week. Live at SeaTac, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.